Hello, hello, good evening. Thank you for the ones that are on time. Okay, thank you for the hello, camera. Teacher. Hello, Carla. Carla, you were here yesterday or no? No. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I was thinking about you. Okay, the, you were not here. Okay, but it's nice to see you one more time, Carla, nice. So we are going to wait for the rest uh, to join uh, the meeting, okay? So we have like two more minutes, okay? Thank you for your camera, German. Thank you, German. Thank you, uh, Herbert, for your camera. We have ATEL right here in the meeting as well. ATEL, I don't see your face. I don't see your camera, ATEL. Ana Victoria, welcome. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? <laughs> I'm late. <laughs> no, you are just on time. Okay, but normally, yes, you are like 10 minutes before, right? So, yeah, <laughs> yes. that's why you say that you are late. Because normally you are like 10 minutes before. Nice. Uh, thank you, Hilda yes. Milagro, for your camera. Welcome. Nice. So, Glenda Portillo is joining. Ana Guerra, nice to see you one more time. Thank you for being on time. Nice. Uh, let's see, we are 11 right now. And what happened with uh, Fidel? It's joining the audio, Fidel. I don't see your camera. Hello, hello. Oh, yes, there you are. Hello, how are you? Yes, I have trouble with my internet, I, supp I suppose. Yeah, probably. I don't know if it is raining where you are, but uh, here right now it's not raining, but it was raining like in the afternoon, so. No, really, here it's not, it's not raining. Okay, nice. Hey, Eugenia, welcome back. Nice to see you, Eugenia. How are you, Eugenia? Nice to see you, everyone. Thank you, nice. <laughs> nice. I'm doing fine, thank you. Nice. Um, we have Jessica as well. Welcome, Jessica. Nice. How are you, Jessica? Very good. Very nice. <laughs> nice. Um, let's see, we have Glenda as well. Glenda Portillo, nice to see you. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? So let's see. Uh, right now we are eight participants, okay? So we are going to start with the attendance, okay? Like every date, we start with the attendance. Um, let's see. Harold. Welcome back. Now you have your friend right there, Harold. That's nice. Dígale que ayer yes. se perdió la clase, right? Hello. Hola. Hello. But you, 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 you look like, you look, you look like brothers. Yes. Se parecen. Okay. Yes. Nice. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's connecting? Uh, it says Edwin, welcome Edwin Garcia. Nice to have you right here. Nice. So let's start with the attendance, okay? Remember to have your camera on, please, okay? Uh, be ready with your cameras all the time, okay? All the time. Trate usted de, de, 
eh, que estamos en estas clases, no sé, organizarse con sus dispositivos, ya sea que usted se conecte con audio en el teléfono y con eh, vídeo o el, la pantalla en una computadora para ver más grande, ¿verdad? Un poco más cómodo. Usted trate de ver a lo que usted tiene. No le estoy diciendo que vaya a comprar un iPhone, sino que más bien con lo que usted tiene, los equipos que usted tiene, los devices, trate de acomodarse, ¿verdad? Para que no se les haga tan incómodo estar viendo la pantalla o lo que se comparte en el teléfono, porque pues es incómodo y no se logra ver bien. Trate de, no sé, si tienen la opción y la posibilidad de estar en una computadora para ver la pantalla, fuese genial, aunque tengan el audio en el teléfono o, o en la misma computadora, al igual que los... Um, al igual que los headsets, right? Hay algunos headsets que son cómodos y usted puede aguantar ahí tenerlos la hora. Algunos ya están acostumbrados a andar esas cositas ahí en los, en los, los earphones, right? Pero that's just an, an advice, okay? So let me start with the attendance. Um, let's see. Uh, today is uh, Tuesday 20th, right? Uh, let's see, Ana Astrid Gomez. Astrid, thank you. Thank you, Ana Bernarda. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Ana Lisbeth Alvarado. Ana Lisbeth. No, me pareció verla Ana Lisbeth, no. Ana Miriam. Ana Miriam. No. Sí me escuchan, ¿verdad? An ok, Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria, thank you. Um, Angie Elizabeth. Angie Elizabeth. No, Carla Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Um, Cindy Areli. Cindy. Yes, oh, okay. I'm here. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, Cordelia Elizabeth. Cordelia. Daniel Edgardo. Daniel Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Um, Diana Lisbeth. Diana. No he visto a Diana. Diana Lisbeth, no. Present teacher. Ok, thank yes, you, Diana. Teacher. Doris Maricel. Doris Maricel. No. Uh, Edwin Edgardo. Edwin. No. Present teacher. Ok, thank you, Edwin. Present teacher. And then we have Aitel. I know you are there, Aitel. Thank you. And Aida Patricia. Eneida, Patricia, no, okay, uh, Erika y Luisa, Erika, no, Eugenia Asunción, I'm here teacher, thank you Eugenia, Fidel, I know you are there Fidel, here I am, Francisco Javier, Francisco Javier, no. Uh, German Mejia. German. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Present teacher. Um, Glenda Annette. Present teacher. Thank you. Harold Eduardo. Harold. Present teacher. Thank you, Herbert Douglas. Present teacher. Thank you, Hilda Milagro. 
here, teacher. Thank you. Ingrid Xiomara. Present, miss. Thank you. Um, Irene Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jaime Antonio. No. Jefferson Mauricio. Jefferson, no. Jessica Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica. So do I mention all of you or there is someone that was probably uh, getting into the meeting? Ya los mencioné a todos. So mm -hmm. alguien... Yeah. No sé. Yo teacher acabo de entrar. Uh, okay. Porque está contestando a alguien. Your name, I'm sorry. Linda Ramos. Linda. The other name, solo ese nombre le aparece, no le veo. Your second name. Eneida Patricia Ramos. Ok, Eneida, let me see, let me see, let me see. Eneida Patricia Ramos, ok. Now you are here. Uh, I don't know who is uh, in the chat. Let me see. I have the chat. Ana Miriam. Ana Miriam. Pero sí, ya le había puesto, creo. Eh, la attendance. Let me double check. Ana Miriam Guevara. Ahí está. Thank you, Ana Miriam. So nice. So we are all oh, uh, perfect. So please uh, don't forget your cameras all the time. Thank you for the ones that always are with the camera and with your full name in the screen. Remember that we are uh, taking uh, pictures, right? Every single class. So please try to be focused on the class. I know that we are at home and that probably we are like, you know, sitting in our bed or I don't know where you are, right? So I don't know, but we need to be in front of the camera and uh, we need to be able to, um, you know, be paying attention as much as we can during the class. So let's start. Uh, today we are going to continue with the last activity that we didn't complete yesterday. So we will do it really quickly because we need to start the um, unit number four. Okay, so we need to start a new unit and so tomorrow probably we are going to finish, okay? That unit in uh, next week. So we will be able to, um, we will be able to just complete the last unit, okay? That we have for the, um, for the platform, okay? So remember that all the topics are based on the platform, the, uh, information that we have in the book as well. So let me stop where we finished uh, yesterday. And yeah, here we go. So we did the activity for the reading and we were in this part, right? About mention some activities that we can do outdoor and indoor, okay? So if I ask you, uh, where can you go? Uh, where can you play tennis outdoor? Oh, I can play tennis in the field, on the soccer field or in the tennis field, at the park, at the beach, okay? So remember, outdoor means activities that you can do outside, okay? That you don't need to be inside of the house, inside of a building. It's something that you can do that you need probably a bigger place or a large place because of the activity that you will do and indoors means activities that probably yes uh, you can uh, do inside of a house inside of a I don't know inside of a building inside of a, 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 a country right so inside of something so those will be outdoor activities so uh, let's continue we have right here a uh, conversation practice okay so try to uh, pay close attention to the pronunciation and the same story if you have um, 
new work or something that you don't know. So let me know. We will see together the um, information. Okay, so it says this is a conversation and it's far from here. That's a question. It is a far from here. Okay, and we have a conversation between a tourist and a woman, and it says the tourist, um, excuse me, man, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick, Patrick Cathedral? And then the lady says, just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. Uh, St. Patrick is on the right. It is near Rockefeller Center. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And what is the Empire State Building? It is far from here. It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up, okay? So that's the um, conversation about. So look at the tourists and it's like, searching or uh, walking around the con uh, places in New York. Remember that may we mentioned those places yesterday. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see. We are going to practice just one or two times this uh, conversation because of the time. So let's see, Edwin Garcia, you will be the tourist guy. And let's see, Eneida Patricia, Teacher. you will be the woman, yes? Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead, Hilda. Um, Ma'am, is the contraction of Madame? Yes, okay, yes. Oh. In English, you will listen that uh, Americans, they say, uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, that means como, ma mire, ah, okay. mire señora, decimos nosotros en español. Mire señora, yo le estoy uh -huh. diciendo que, so that's ma'am, okay, so that's how they say oh, it. Okay. Okay, but thank you, Elta. nice. Thank you. Do, thank you. Do we have any other word that probably we don't know the meaning? Or everything is clear, okay? Yeah. Okay, so Eneida Patricia, you are the woman and um, Edwin Garcia, right? You are the tourist guy. So start, please, Edwin. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? Continue. Continue, Edwin. How do you get to... St. Patrick? St. Patrick's Catherine? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. St. Patrick? Yes. St. Patrick's is on the right. It is near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it is right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It, it is far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Nice. Uh, let's see, German. Now you are the tourist guy. And let's see, Carla. Carla, where are you? Carla, you are the woman, okay? So Carla okay. Raquel, go ahead. Go ahead, um, start. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Excuse me, mom, can you help me? How do I get to San Patrick's Cathedral? Cathedral. 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 Yeah, the oh. cathedral. 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 Just wall of Fifth Avenue to 15th Street. Its practice is on the right. Uh, it, 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 
near Rockefeller Center. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. I worry the empire state building is, is far from here. Is right, is right begin you, you start and write and look out. Okay, perfect, thank you. So one more time, remember the pronunciation when we have a question, right? Excuse me, man, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick Cathedral? Just walk up Fight Avenue, okay, Avenue. Avenue to uh, 15th Street, St. Patrick, it's on the right. It is near Rockefeller Center. Yes, it's right across from the Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And what is the Empire State Building? It is far from here. It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, so la tiene ahí enfrente y no lo ha visto, right? So uh, let's continue, okay? Let's move on because of the time, okay? So we need to continue. Let's see what we have right here. We are, uh, we are going to start right now the lesson number four, okay? Uh, let's see, Eitel, could you please read the model of the lesson objective, please? Okay, 4.0 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Perfect, thank you. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary, okay? Vocabulary for uh, talking about things people hate to do, okay? You know what is hate? When you dislike something, yes? Hate? Yes. I hate like pata soup, okay? I, personas que dicen, well, pata soup. <laughs> So I hate, uh, I don't know, snakes. I don't like, I see a snake and I feel terrible. So we will see vocabulary uh, to express something that you don't like, okay? Or something that you hate in this case, okay? So let's see, uh, we have top eight uh, things people hate to do, okay? So this is the information that we have in the, in the book, okay? So if you see, it's the same information that we have in the book. And it says, number one, stand in line. Oh, yes, we hate. If you go to the bank and you are two hours doing or uh, standing just behind someone doing the line waiting, oh my God, that's something terrible, right? Uh, number two says, do the laundry. I don't hate. Okay, because you use the machine, but if you do it with your hands, probably yes. But if we use the laundry machine, so you just put the, the clothes right there. So, but there are people that they hate do laundry. Uh, number three, it says travel to work. Mm, yes, if you use, if we use the public transportation, right? So it's, that's not easy. Go and travel every day. Uh, in the morning in the micro bus or in the bus and they are very crowded okay a lot of people is there and and you are like topese, topese, right so that's not good that's kind of stressed okay so number four says go to meetings okay i don't know i don't hate to be on meeting but probably there are people that if they say oh my god be with my boss hidden blah 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 so probably we have people that they hate be on meetings um number five exercise oh my god yeah it's difficult to do exercise todos queremos ser healthy and sexy right but we don't really want to do exercise it's kind of heavy do you need to have the the habit to do it every day or but it's difficult, okay? Number six says, uh, work in the jar. Oh, I don't hate it, but I don't know. Probably people hate to be working in the jar means planting or doing something in the garden. 
And it says, number seven, clean the house. I don't know, probably you hate clean the house and you are like waiting that somebody else do it for you. And number eight, it says, open the mail, okay? We don't really have mails uh, here in El Salvador. Probably you receive bills. No es que le llegue una carta de invitación, le lleguen las, las, las cuentas de cobrar, right? So that's what we receive. Okay, so probably we hate it, right? So when we have the electricity bill, mm, or we have the water bill, mm, or we have the cable, the internet, so we don't yeah. like. Yeah? I think in this, it's a miss, it's a, the, in the US, the all the bills came with the, uh, in an envelope for the and mail. Exactly, and all of them get together, right? So it's not like yes. here in El Salvador. Here in El Salvador, you receive the electricity one day, then you receive the water in a different day, then you receive the cable in a different date. So in the US, they put everything together and they uh, mail it to your house and you receive a package with all the letters together at the same time, all the bills, all the letters yes. and everything, okay? So that's why it says right there that probably people hate to open mails because they have too many okay so let's see what we have right here questions okay questions uh let's see let's see uh jessica do you hate to do these activities okay the ones that we have before do you hate to do these activities Jessica? Do laundry. Do the laundry, you hate it. You don't like to do laundry. Okay, yes. nice. Okay, so let's see. In this case, the question says, uh, do you hate to do these activities? The answer will be, uh, yes, I do uh, to do these activities. I hate do the laundry i hate uh travel in the in the past i hate uh stand in the line just waiting or i hate to go to a restaurant and be waiting for the food one hour and the food never appears so that's probably uh, how we can answer okay when we have a question with do we need to answer with do okay do you hate to do these activities yes i do i hate these activities like blah, 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 you menciona cuáles. Oh, no, I don't, I don't hate these activities. I love to do exercise. I enjoy to be in meetings. I like to be waiting in the line. I spend the time and that's what we can do, right? So if you go to the bank, so take your book or your, I don't know, your phone where you have the platform and you can start, you know, be reading, doing the exercise while you are waiting, okay? So that will be an advice. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, the other question says, what other themes you hate to do and why? Uh, let's see, this is a question for, oh my God, I don't know what happened with my computer is search. 